We need to have a chat. I'm coming out. Good morning, modern steaders. We've got a couple of inches of snow overnight, which is nice to cover up all that ice. This morning right now, it's 35 degrees out and raining. Oh, Mother Nature can't make up her mind right now whether she wants winter to be here or she wants fall to be here, I guess. I'm glad the ice is gone now. What kind of weather are you having where you live? What's the matter? Oh, you sound like you got it so rough. So rough in there. You're eating hay already. You just cry babies. You coming to check on the goats? Yeah, it's raining out. You don't want to stay out, do you? Yeah, watch out. What are you doing? thing about getting all this snow is I can take off my ice cleats. <laughs> nice sticky wet snow sticking on top of the ice. So I think even if I plow the road in the driveway there'll be some snow that will stay sticking to the ice and it's not going to be as slippery. I hope your 2019 is off to a good start. I know it's early in the year, but this is a great time to start planning your garden, your homestead, different projects you want to do. It's a great time to start planning for chickens if you're going to be raising meat birds. It's a really good time if you're going to be getting meat birds to stop building your chicken tractors. Once springtime comes, it sure gets hectic on the homestead. There's so much to do. And this is also a great time just to relax and recoup before springtime comes. I hear the rain. What do you girls think of all the rain? Huh? What do you think of the rain? What do you think? We have to make a run for it. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's raining pretty good. Yeah, I don't think it's showing up on camera. You can hear it good on camera. You all done, Miss Willow? So it's been just two weeks since we took it to the breeder last time. Go. Hopefully we'll find out soon if she's pregnant or not. Every once in a while, that right side's got a good little bump out in it. I'm hoping she's pregnant. You going? New York City, Pluto. Come on. Hey. We're going this way. Ah, oh, you know what? I forgot to change the straw bedding out in New York City yesterday. I'll have to do that this morning so I don't forget again. 35 degrees out. Feels really nice. Oh. Might be raining, but I like the temperature. I don't think the chickens will come out, but we'll open the door up for them. Good snowball making snow. I like we want to go outside, but we don't. You put your feet in here. That way it don't get buried in the snow. Let's grab some straw bedding.
chickens will have fun making some nests using the fresh straw. There's already one coming in there. There's already one in. Curious to see what the chickens did was the goat manure and wood shavings we gave them yesterday. Look at how well they spread that out. That's awesome. You guys have that spread out really well. One nice thing about the snow is we can use it to clean out the waterers with. Before and it was ice, there was nothing we could do. Nice. Nice and clean. I like it. They're doing a really good job scratching and pecking through all the different layers of bedding and keeping it all turned up. It's gonna make some awesome compost come this spring. What do you think? Think she's got a baby bump? <laughs> Deanna needs to come to an ultrasound. <sighs> we need to have a chat. I figure we talk about our this year goals and then like our five and ten year and further goals. But when it comes to like our five and ten year goals, we're not like this is going to happen in five years, this is going to happen in ten years. I think it's kind of more like this is where we want our homestead to be in five, ten, fifteen years. And it's not like this one's gonna happen then, this goal's happening then, it's kind of visions. visions and we'll see how everything works out. We have a big vision, but we're not like set to say this has to happen this year and this has to happen that year. The first one is in this area, we'll get the camera moving in a minute, we're gonna be putting a barn once we get out of our mud season. Where we can get equipment in here and we can level off a spot, let me show you. So we want to level off a spot so you come down the lane that we cleared out and we'll have the barn over here so we can plow down and then plow in front of the barn. So that means we're going to have to clean up some of this apple orchard behind Gina and Olivia. There's an apple tree over there that I got to prune up and clean up and then I got to figure out how far off our property line we need to be which is at those birch trees to find out how far it's gonna come this way. And then I'm gonna get some space in my basement. Gina's looking forward to the barn. That means I can get a lot of my stuff out of the basement. And then we'll have more room down there. And we can build a bathroom someday. Okay. And then they can have the spare bedroom upstairs as their craft room, right? <laughs> I'll have to show you guys the plan of the barn someday, but the purpose of the barn is to have a workshop, garage in the center, and then we'll have barn stalls on the edge so that way we can get more goats. And we'll have an area to keep our animals. And then over here behind me where Olivia's walking, we had four acres of woods logged this past spring. If you're new to the channel and you haven't seen those videos, I'll put a link to that playlist right here. But we had a really wet and rainy year last year, so we got some of it raked out up here and seeded with grass seeds, and we got a lot of rain and washed out. So I'm not sure what that's gonna look like come spring. Down here was real muddy where Pluto is and further down we weren't able to rake it out. So one of our goals is to get the pasture growing grass and mowable. Hopefully that'll all happen this coming year. It just depends on the weather and how wet it is this upcoming season. It looks like in time. An, in time. <laughs> That's a big one. It looks like you're out walking in a frozen tundra. That's what you're pretending? Yeah, we're in the Antarctic. Here in the Antarctic. So up over here is the top pot of the pasture. We're just off to the left or the right of the house, depending on which way you're looking. But we'd like to have greenhouses up here someday. 
it'd be nice to do some kind of geothermal greenhouse or some kind of greenhouse that's heated in the winter time so we can use it more and get more of a bigger growing season out of it it'll be interesting to see what kind of ideas and what we can come up with for greenhouses for up here but i think all of us are looking forward to the greenhouse for extending the growing season especially if it's cold out like this we've got the chickens in there and just different animals and trying to grow food in the winter time give us more to do throughout the season and then we should be yeah if we can get it heated like geothermally be warm throughout we want to move the chickens winter greenhouse not sure yet where we're going to move that to. Did you have any ideas where you wanted it to move to? I don't, but I don't, I like to have it. Not so quickly. close yeah, to the house. Yeah, so that it feels like this is more open. All right, now that we have had all that property logged, we have more room to put other stuff. Where before, that was all woods that you couldn't move around in, so we had it close. So come springtime, summertime, we'd like to move it further back. It's nice to have close for reasons of just coming out of the house. Right. But we're hoping this year we're going to have better weather and the garden will do good. We got so much rain last year it didn't help out with the garden. And then like our tomatoes and stuff didn't have much flavor because they were so waterlogged. But we already got our garlic planted for this coming springtime, which would be awesome. We want to add a couple of garden beds. We're not sure where or what more we're going to plant in them. It would be nice to do a bigger garden. We're not sure where that's going to be yet. Our soil is very rocky. So we can't just plant in the ground because, I mean, when I say rocky, I'm not just talking like rocks like that. There's rocks like this and then big giant boulders. So we don't have enough soil anywhere. And that's why we did the raised beds. So we got to kind of play around with that come springtime and see how we can gain some more growing space. We're going to be building a window box shortly for the outdoor kitchen. I think that's going to be almost eight feet long and that'll be for growing herbs. And I want to do a lot of flowers in Either you build me some beds or containers, Container, some wildflowers, yeah. so I can cut them and put them on a table or for other people. I like to do a split rail fence around here and then do like chicken wire on the inside to help keep, like, I know you can't keep Figaro out, but deter him <laughs> or if we have any other loose animals around, it keeps them out so I don't have to worry about keep the chickens and the cat and the goat yeah. no, not the cat. But that's future. We'll probably just have the fence like we had this year, the right. mesh, until we have time to do that. But something more attractive with uh, like a chicken fence on the inside, just, just it's not noticeable, but it keeps stuff out. Something more aesthetically pleasing than our... But that's future. And yeah. It will be cute. I like to kind of make I also pretty. want everything to look nice. Yeah, you want it to look uh, pretty. But it takes time and it... And then we planted some chestnuts and butternut trees last fall. Hoping to plant some more nut trees. We did an elderberry bush. Hoping to plant some more elderberry bushes. We'd like to do some more blueberry bushes. And get some more of that stuff established. The big one we'd really like to do, I don't know when or when it'll fit into the time frame. We're really looking forward to getting a perimeter fence around mm -hmm most of the homestead so that way we can have the goats out roaming around more the chickens pluto coming up soon what two and a half weeks maybe less than that once the video goes live we're going to be bringing home a new puppy yeah but we don't need a fence if we have the puppy to get the goats yeah so that way if we're out if we're not out and want the goats are out it's not a yeah. Yeah, so we're going to be gotta Pick out a new puppy. It's a uh, miniature Australian Shepherd, so they're a livestock herding dog. And the goal is with him, we're going to train him to be a pet, but also to train him to be herding animals. So if the goats get out, or if we want to let the goats out, we can have him kind of keep them in an area. If we have chickens get loose, he can keep the chickens kind of contained to an area. Be a good friend for Pluto and Figaro and for Olivia, cuddle your cuddle buddy. That's the plan there. Do you think you'll do turkeys this year? We'll probably do a couple of turkeys again. It's nice to have them. We'll do the we'll do the we'll do the pigs again. I've already been talking with the pig farmer. Probably around Mother's Day, we'll be getting the two pigs again. Willow is hopefully pregnant. We'll be having baby goats the middle to end of May. We're we'll getting more meat birds coming. So yeah, come springtime, we're gonna have a busy season. March, our barn kit gets delivered. 
but we won't be able to do too much with that until probably May. The roads up here get banded once the snow all starts melting. They get mushy, muddy. So they put, put bands on the roads so you can't bring heavy equipment on the roads. So that's going to hold us up there. So once May comes, we're going to be we're going to have a lot of stuff to do and to keep busy. That's for sure. And we've want, been wanting a like a decent sized barn, barn for. I mean, even before we came here, forever. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. But especially for this, our homes that we're building here, a barn, a workshop for yep. for you. Because it's, I mean, he has a basement, but we can't do woodwork and projects in a basement. No. Not with the way our Not basement's our set up. No. I mean, you can, up. but too much dust can get out throughout the whole house. Happy wife, happy life. So don't do it in. Right. <laughs> for now, Libby and I. Hanging out, doing some crafts inside. That's fun. Sewing and using our vinyl printer. That's been fun, and it's good to learn. It's quality time with us for us. My big dream, if it ever happened, would be to have like a 200-acre farm that we could have like a real-world Lumna Acres, where we could have a farm that people could come to and visit, do vacations at. We could do more butchering classes for pigs for chickens, for beef, just have it a huge setup, kind of like an old Amish world with inside barns and butchering areas and greenhouses and raising sheep, cattle, I mean you name it, I'd love to just have it and then people could just come and see it, we could have like a farm to table restaurant, so everything we raised and grew on the farm we'd be selling to eat I just think that'd be cool, a big vision like that. A big vision. That's like a big vision, like, hey, if you ever won the Powerball, or, I don't know, if you ever ran into a boatload of money somewhere. <laughs> but that would be a big vision. I think that'd be fun yeah. someday to have yeah. something like that. I think it'd be a place that a lot of people could come and learn, and be interesting to, to learn from everybody. Not just us, but other people could come, they could share with you what they know. I think that'd be fun. And have to provide jobs for like-minded yep, people. Provide jobs for like-minded people, for people in the community. And if people want to move, they can move. And it hopefully it'd be good jo paying jobs. That's kind of be the a goal vision. there. That's my vision. That's like my big vision. Dream. My big dream. Everybody needs to have a big dream. Whether it comes true or not, you always need to have little dreams that you can, that are within your reach, that you can attain and get to. But then you also need the bigger ones. Once you reach your little ones, you still have something bigger to go for. So and that's like they can change on the, along the way. Oh yeah, but definitely. I mean, nothing's nothing set in stone. No, and dreams can change or go a different direction. Right, you have different seasons bigger. of your life. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So those are some of our visions, our dreams, where we want our homestead to go over the next year, 5, 10, 15 years. But we'd love to hear what some of your visions are. What are some of your dreams? Leave them in the comments down below. We try to read all the comments. We're not able to reply to all of them. But we go through, we read them, we like them. And it's great to hear what people have to say. So leave them in the comments down below. I'm really interested in seeing what your dreams and goals are. And sometimes other people's dreams or goals, they're like, it's, oh wow, I never thought of that. Right. And then that, that could spark another dream or goal or just think. I don't know. You, you can inspire it, others. Definitely. Can definitely inspire others. You'd even give us some ideas. We've got, we've gotten quite a few ideas from people leaving comments and emails or Facebook messages like, oh, I never even thought of it that way. Sometimes we can just get stuck in our own little box or our own little world and just look at something from our direction and not see it from another way. And we don't know. Every, we're learning too. We're learning and growing. Oh, yeah. That's life. That's right. All right, we're gonna go inside. It's getting pretty windy out. Mm -hmm. We're blowing, blowing off the roof. Yeah. You ready, Pluto? Mm Yep, I think we need some more firewood.
I must say, I do like the mushrooms in it. Just wanted to thank you all that are still at the video at this part of it. That just thank you for bringing our family into your house. You guys are such a huge blessing to our family, and I hope in some way or another we can bless your family just as well. And I hope you guys make 2019 the best year on your homestead. I don't want it to be the best year ever, but I want it to be the best year you've had so far in your homestead, no matter where that is in your journey. And just make this year a great year. I just feel like it's going to be an awesome year for learning, for growing, and just prospering on the homestead. I'd love to hear what your goals and aspirations are, whether it's where you are now, where you want to go, or whatever it is that you'd like to see yourself change in 2019. Leave it in the comments down below, and we'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.